Today has been a lovely day, but then I remembered I still have never beaten Celo Heights, one of the hardest mods in Hearts of Iron 4. It's been a while since I've suffered in Hearts of Iron 4. Last time I played this mod, I played seven games in a row and got my ass kicked every single time. But today we're gonna try again. The difference being, I'm a little bit better at Hearts of Iron 4 now. So the challenge is simple. I need to defeat the allies and push back the Soviets. And we're going with the January start date. And right here, our army is actually not in terrible shape. So this army, let's just keep here. I think we can hold the Alps. And Italy also should not be that hard to hold. Now in the West, the allies are not too scary. There's a high concentration of Americans right here. What really spooks me is just that the Russian front has more Russians than Germans. And I know they want some blood. Which I mean, hey, I totally get that. Because the Germans, we just went in and pillaged your country for the last four years, so I understand why you want that revenge. So now we're gonna stem the tide. So I'm gonna employ a simple strategy. We need to defend tiles that are advantageous towards the defender. No point in wasting time sitting on planes. Let's sit on forest tiles, or cities, or forts. Now I'm just assembling my armies real quick. Ooh, now this is an amazing field marshal. Winter specialist, it's winter, and ranger, and there's a lot of forests in West Germany. So first things first, we gotta abandon Croatia. They're cooked. Because I've done this mod before, guys, and I'm telling you, your line just starts falling. It just starts falling on you. But we have some secrets, little tricks we can use. Look at all these forts. They're already there for us. They're just begging to be used. So we're gonna withdraw two forest tiles for the time being. And look at that. I just noticed that Koningsberg has level 10 forts on it. Wow. Dude, and we have level 5 forts all up this line. If we lose this, we're just bad at the game. Well, actually, I don't want to speak too soon. I I'm having flashbacks already. But yeah, guys, I'm ready. Captain Jamarcus is here. I ain't quitting. We're going to give it our best. So right now, I literally am going to abandon every useless tile. These guys, go to the woods. Your defense is much better there. Budapest is encircled. I could attempt to relieve that pocket. It's possible. So I'll start prepping a counteroffensive. We still have a little bit of an air force remaining. That's actually really nice. All right, let's send this bad boy right here and attempt to relieve this pocket in Hungary. I think that should be our main objective. Now research, let's research stuff that gives us buffs right away. You see buffs, research, night vision, yeah. More output, of course. And we're to streamline production. No time for new stuff. And a little extra coordination never hurts. So we have our industry. Let's keep it simple. Artillery, anti-tank, anti-air, supports, and the rest is going to guns. I think we should stall on the east and try to actually hold and win on the west. I think for now, let's just pop up some anti-air so we don't get bombed too badly. I want to keep the little industry that we do have. So we have a few different objectives. One that's totally doable is holding onto the Netherlands. All right, we're going to let the game unpause now. And all the troops that are moving will go on to strategic redeploy. Oh, sh**. That might have been a bad idea. Because now they have no org. Now I'm going to be extra nerdy today. Putting on my nerd glasses. Why are we losing the battle? Air superiority. Tough bonus. Weather? I don't really get that one. Oh, we have so much XP. Should we switch doctrines? Do you like getting spied on? Unless you're weird, you probably care about your internet privacy. You don't want to end up like the Japanese. Their codes were broken, which led to their plans for Midway being leaked, which led to this. That's why today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN keeps your internet activity safe from your ISP, hackers, and big evil tech overlords. And yes, I am looking at you, Mr. Zuck. Oh wait, he's cool now? I'm at Elon. With over 3,200 servers in 100 different countries, you can change your internet identity at your will. You can watch movies that are banned in your country. You can pretend to be Australian. Surfshark always has your back with 24 seven customer support. Surfshark also has an antivirus to keep you and your not so tech savvy grandma safe from the ops. We don't want granny getting malware now, do we? Click my link down below to support the channel. You get four months extra for free if you use code Jamarcus and a 30 day money back guarantee. Now back to the video. I do want static warfare, we're on the defense. Elevated Engineering core. yep. What is this debuff? Weather minus 300%. There's no weather here. So pro some provinces are just meant to fall. That's messed up, man. Well, no point in defending this. Let's just retreat and move on to better tiles. This one too is falling. There's no point in defending it. Move back to better tiles. So this guy, Defensive Doctrine, and we want him to be... Yeah, the Western Allies are not attacking at all right now, which is cool. I really want to relieve Budapest though, before they like, die. Oh my god, our defense is amazing. Yeah, is going on the defensive even possible right now? Most likely not. Okay, our tanks removed, our vents have been hungry. This is huge. 
We can almost liberate Budapest. There we go. We absolutely kicked their ass because we have all of our air force here and they're not really contesting our airplanes right now. There's only two divisions here. They have so many debuffs against them, dude. Hopefully that goes well. We'll ride in a sneak in a little ports right here. Then this little encircled pocket may actually be able to get supplies because 430,000 men. You can't understate how valuable that'd be to have. Koningsberg is holding strong. Yeah, these are some must holds. We're going on last stand for this men right here. Oh, we're about to take Budapest, it looks like. Yes, please be. Yes, we are. Dude, huge. Let's so move into some new defensive positions, but that is huge progress because they're kicking ass right now. Poland's where we're having a bit more trouble. Oh, this guy's last standing. He's so nearly dead. If anyone ever needed a last stand, it was this tile here. I'm literally playing at one speed, man. This is going to take a while, but it's worth it. Uh, we're sending the tanks to this tile from that tile. A little transfer Rooney. Oh, these guys are almost cooked. We're going to add this mechanized right here. Budapest seems relatively secure. I think we can take out the tanks we have here. Yo, we're kind of holding a lot of green bubbles, man. Yo, so these divisions escaped to this open tile I had. I can afford to lose this tile right here. Because then this tile over here, left of it, can be super stacked. This is intense, man. How does Bitter still do this for hours on end? I wish I had a fraction of that man's talent. Yep, infantry is arriving. We had some backup, chilling at the ports. No need to worry about the ports or naval invasions. If that happens, we're just we're, we're just cooked anyway, right? We can't worry about that at the moment. Okay, Warsaw is like a... Uh, cannot fall. We're gonna fire this guy so we have more command power. And I guess we can do some guerrilla tactics. So at the moment, we have tank bonuses, defense. It's fine, we'll just do werewolf guerrillas. Oh, once these tanks from Hungary move up, we'll be chill. You know what? We don't need our air force in Hungary. No way we're losing this tile too, man. We lost Warsaw. It's fine, our air force is in Poland, but their air force is too, which is a problem. It's fine, we have Hungary stabilized. That is something. That is an accomplishment in and of itself. Okay, and the western allies are attacking. Slight problematicness. Let's just pump out more subs, man. Look, here's the deal. This mod is actually fair and winnable because their offenses should get weaker with time, so they will pay the price with every inch of land. Yes, we've already taken 100,000 casualties, but they have taken the same as us. Shit, man. Poland really is tough to hold. Sorry, we can use this little city right here. Urban combat is great for defense. Sorry, we're preparing our defenses on these cities right here. And we're retreating from this tile. No point in holding this one. Oh, I'm stupid. We have air experience. Why are we not upgrading our stuff? I right, upgraded the doctrines a little. It's nearly completed now. Centralized control. And now for the Navy, let's finish up the Naval Doctrines. Oh, and I also forgot about this, man. Let's make our artillery as good as possible. Focus on defense. Now, this is a lot of extra heart attack. What? Let's take it. A lot more green now. Are we finally doing a little bit of holding? Good, lots of green bubbles. Battle of the Bulge has ended. Yeah, it kind of failed. But that's okay. All right, so every troop reinforced Luxembourg. I do like holding Luxembourg. Holding Luxembourg is harder, but I want to keep the action off our forts as long as possible. Remember, I'm fighting for every tile with my life. And this approach requires so much more mental energy than just drawing some front lines, but it's how you have to play this mod. I do want to begin producing a panther. What's this panther look like? Oh, it's very, very nice. War bonds. We could totally use some war bonds. And remember, our secret weapon is these Czechoslovak forts. But there already are some strong forts in the Slovakian mountains. How's the air war going? Damn, we're getting clapped. Is this something I could get away with making less of? I could make a little bit less anti-air. I don't mind grinding my air force like into nothingness. We just need to grind the enemy down. Once we have a port here, remember, we can't attack. Ah, so much red, so much red. Okay, we can't lose a city like this of such strategic importance. I was already just like that. Just that little distractions right there. I got two tunnel vision. You see how hard this mod is? That's tunnel vision. I was looking here for a few hours in a game, like one game day. The good thing is we always have Danzig to hold on to. Dude, I do not want to lose this forest tile. Because then it'll make it so our city will be harder to take. Or easier to take. Since there'll be more combat with. And I don't want to lose Krakow, man. Such a good city. Dude, our tank's rushing over to support. Yes. Do all of our divisions have anti-air? They don't. Pity. Well, I want a new infantry division that we can pump out after this and start converting our regular divisions to. Infantry. It will be simple and cheap. The signal company essentially does nothing, so we'll put support anti-air in our infantry. Alright, unfortunately this tile's gone and there's nothing we can do about it. Unless a Christmas miracle happens. And this guy gets on- Okay, that's the Christmas miracle actually I needed. You know what, I tried holding up here as long as I could. And it's fine, there's this amazing river line here we can defend instead. Let's make that our goal. And hold southern Poland. Oh, I really want to hold this spot, man. It's the level 5 forts. This is very good. We get some more command power. The West is actually doing good. Okay, this is good. We retreat. We lose a little speed, but we're better at defending. That's fine. We don't really need to move around too much right now. Oh, crap. Disaster has struck. Now, Soviets, they're moving around, which is good. Gives us a little breathing room. And they're not even really moving in Croatia. So all these divisions send over here. I do know the Allies will attack in around March, though. So once again, we just have to make every tile costly. 
I could use a bit more stability. Let's get some more stability. This is good. We have some time now. The Soviets are reorging. We can actually retake some advantageous positions then too as well. Let's do it. Yeah, we are getting attacked in Budapest. We got to take care of that. Oh, dude, Konigsberg is open still. Let's move up a little. Maybe we can go to Warsaw. That could just be fantasy, but it'd be nice. When are the reinforcements arriving? All right, good. Did they take? They took Konigsberg, didn't they? That's actually a huge L. Massive L. Well, all of a sudden, holding Prussia might not be worth much anymore. It might be better to pull back this Danzig in this river, because this is still a really good spot. Why don't we fortify the river line? That would be wise, right? Screw the Santier. That was a terrible decision. Around one month of gameplay has elapsed. I spent an hour to survive one month. That is how intense this mod is. Okay, we actually gave the Soviets a decent beating this first month. Nice. Oh, we got pushed back a little. That sucks. Oh, we have an agent, finally. Let's see what's going on on the front. Okay, we're finally using some anti-air. We're taking so much cast damage, but they're at least using a few planes. Oh, they're attacking in Italy. I was not expecting that. Well, I'm going to take over all of Mussolini's seven divisions. I need everything I can get. Reduce the line a little. We are getting pushed back pretty strongly right now. Man, we're going to have to abandon all this. It's fine. We can move back to Danzig and hold up here. That is fine by me. We're going to strategically pull back. I really don't want to lose this tile right here, because then Krakow can be attacked from multiple directions. That'd be awful. That's a must-not-fall city. No! I, ne ah! I needed that tile, man. Okay, now we're getting kind of overrun, I'm not going to lie. We must hold Danzig. Oh, we're getting destroyed by the cast. The Air Force is going to have to come back in for a minute. So that's some um, land forts. We're losing a lot of planes, but we got to stop the cast. It's just destroying us. Danzig is a must-maintain, though. Hey, get onto Danzig. That's a must-maintain. No, oh, I can only worry so much about the Italian front. That's a sideshow. What happens if I go to interception rather than fight for air superiority? Then we can disrupt their cast, right? That's all I really need. All right, we're pulling out. We have to hold Danzig. We have to hold Danzig. I mean, seriously, this is so easy to hold. They can barely attack because it's a river crossing tile, dude. Look how bad their attack is, man. Yeah, we're getting pushed in Italy. That kind of sucks, man. We did do the Siege of Budapest, which gave us a little bonus. We got to hold the Holland as well, which shouldn't be too hard. Okay, now shit's starting to collapse. No bueno. We gotta counterattack this because this is an urban tile. We need to keep it. Oh, this tank is counterattacking so well. Keep it up so this dude can go defend this urban tile, man, please. Oh, they breached one of the tiles we could not have had let breach. Seriously, man. Yes, we need this. Yes. It's fine. We have some forts here we can put to good use. That's good. That's good. Oh my goodness, this is so chaotic. My troops are deorged and attritioned. Man, the problem is we have no new divisions. Let's build some new divisions. Dude, we've been taking so many casualties lately now. Now it's more than them. They were breaking through, man. They're breaking through. I don't feel right. I don't feel good. Oh, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, everything. I drink too much caffeine. I have a headache now. And now it's just falling flat. Oh, the allies are attacking. Now we really got to slow down. We got to slow down hard. Conducting a little mini offensive. I don't like the Soviets being in control of this tile right here. But we are losing Luxembourg, and I think there is nothing I can do about that. The Allies have a really, really powerful attack going for them. Okay, we're calmed down a bit. We've been retreating, so we have these guys have some time to reorg, chill out, get their shit together. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. That's why it's important to hold these obstacles, like Holland, because we will get some bonuses. Yeah, we just took such heavy casualties in that massive steamroll during the month of February by the Soviets. It hurt, man. It truly hurt. <laughs> Since our Air Force isn't doing anything. And boom, more command power. There we go. Now they should be a little bit less heavy and need a bit less supplies. Okay, we have a decent high point in the mountains. Okay, more green bubbles. This only issues this little offensive here in the Netherlands. And I feel like I can shut that down relatively easily. These guys just gotta hold out, that's all. Operation Solstice? Sure, what's that do? We should always have a few divisions ready with organization. So we don't have to retreat all our divisions, right? But when there's a push, we should retreat at least a couple divisions. I'm, I'm still not giving up hope. Because remember, our goal is hopefully... I don't know the situation with the Soviets. Hopefully, they're doing worse on supplies than we are. Hopefully. I, I doubt it, but... I'm being optimistic here, guys. That's all. Oh my god, we're getting kind of collapsed right now. Oh, now that both fronts are intense, how am I gonna not lose my mind? Oh my god. Two intense fronts is brutal, man. Dude, we're just getting clapped. No! Dude, I want to die. <gasps> I'm telling you guys, you don't know how mentally exhausting this is. It's been two hours. Oh my god. I have to take a break. I'm going to go crazy if I don't. All right, let's wrap it up. Yeah, that was a big sell right there. Three divisions gone. Unfortunate. Y'all, I think we're going to have to abandon Hungary. We could abandon Hungary and tighten up the lineup here. That might be our only option. Oh my god, we're getting bottlenecked up in Italy. Oh my goodness, all our river lines are getting breached, man. This might be the beginning of the end. At least I inflicted so many casualties, but it's just falling, man. 
Dude, our entire Alien army... Oh no, the Italian army is nearly cooked. Oh, they're breaching. They're breaching. The good thing is we have some Czechoslovakian force here, so it's still not over yet. Oh dear god, please escape. We have 28 poor divisions here. Oh, that's so many divisions, dude. 200,000. Do not die! No way, we got encircled in Budapest again. Poor mechanized division. I pray we can successfully retreat. Well, all this does is it gives us a minute to reorg, but then they're gonna come back. We got a lot of buffs on our side now. Yeah, we are struggling a bit, aren't we? Alright, I encircled that dude. Easy one. And we lost a 7 out of 10 for it. Because then you lose your stats and entrenchments. And all of a sudden, each defensive tile just becomes harder and harder and harder to hold. I know the allies are not worn out for sure. That sucks. The Soviets might be getting worn out, which would be amazing. Yo, green across everything. Okay, okay. I can work with this. So now we secure the east. It's great, man. All the tiles that are being attacked, I'm stacking. Well, I have some here, man. Crap. And the issue with the front lines, though, I don't like how they redistribute, but then you don't use them and you mess up just a little and you're cooked. Dude, we have the east too, man. That's the worst part. These guys are retreating so slow. Come on. I'm losing my sanity. Allies and Soviets, y'all a bunch of bitches. That's all I have to say. Oh, full frontal attack. I just can't work with that, man. Here, I'm fired this guy. And let's get some of these. New divisions. Alright, I just hired them. Where are they? Ten days, we'll get some new divisions. Nice. Even playing at one speed, I'm gonna lose probably in the historical time frame. That's great, man. What if I try doing a little counteroffensive? Oh, great. I can't do shit when I counterattack. You see, I played one mod called Sacred War where the Germans were pushing you, and the difference is as the Germans advance, more troops doesn't help. The supplies get shittier. The issue with Germany is the infrastructure is good, so the supplies never get bad for the Allies. So you're always just getting screwed. Like, if I sabotage, how, how helpful is that? That's something I could consider. And it would obviously be beneficial for me since I don't need the supplies as badly as the massive armies of the allies. Ah! Dude, this mod is actually so hard. It's breaking me down. You guys don't understand, I've been playing for three hours on one speed. Three months. Like an hour per month. And now I just, is crumbling down before my eyes. At least our work in the east was not in vain. We held the Soviets off. I only got three new divisions. We're taking that decision. Dude, the fact that two speed is actually too fast for this mod, it shows how hard it is. And I think we're cooked down here, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Because I don't want to end my own life, I do not play on Iron Man mode for this mod. I'm thinking if we manage things a little better from this point on, it's not necessarily over. I think if we have a well-organized retreat, we supply troops on the west, we're able to get these suckers out. I think there's a possibility. There's a possibility we could pull something together. That's all. I am back, new day, new me, and I'm picking up on April 1st, 1945, and we're going to attempt to salvage this game. And I cannot lose this fort tile right here, it's so amazing. Level 7 out of 10 forts. Come on tanks, reinforce, reinforce. And yes, once again, I am playing at 1 speed, we're taking this so slow and methodically. And the reality of the situation is we are probably going to lose Mose land, and we're going to have to retreat to the river tiles. Now, I'm still obviously going to attempt to hold. I think it's time we take down our air force and simply save it for later. There's not much it can do right now. We don't even have fuel anyway. We will save our air force. That'd be unwise not to save it. Oh, dear God. Please escape. Please escape. Come on. I do not want to lose this army. 28 beautiful divisions. I mean, the truth is, though, if this army died, I wouldn't shed too many tears. We wouldn't be screwed yet. Oh! Now that's something that could screw us. Let's conduct a swift counteroffensive and take Essen. Come on, let's take Essen. Oh, it looks like they seized Essen, unfortunately. Okay, now they're starting to really push us back. Dude, we weren't paying- I know we could have avoided that, too. Fudge. I just was tunnel visioned again, man. The tunnel vision in this mod is really, really the most brutal part of it. There's just so much going on. On one speed- one speed's too fast, dude. Who would have thought? All right, let's start orderly retreating. We gotta retreat before we get de -orged. Oh, all those divisions just got overrun, man. Crap. Oh, the worst part. The North German planes, dude. Practically impossible to defend. Oh, the Allies are coming from the South. It's time to prepare by completely abandoning Hungary. Yeah, the Soviets are completely stalling. If we could just keep the Allies off our ass for a little bit, I'd be happy. And just slow down their advance, man. Let's just slow it. Eventually, they'll run out of juice. There we go. We have Volkstroms in Frankfurt. And yeah, now I'm just most concerned about the West, man. I just fired our army commander. We really don't need him. Let's form Reichstrafbeistein's divisions. Sorry, every German viewer. They're just cringe hearing that. And we lost Dortmund. No. The good thing is we might be able to use these Czechoslovak forts in the mountains here. Yes, 400,000 divisions could turn the tide completely. Oh man, just focus on the main cities. Focus on the main cities. Man, the allies have been kicking our butt the last few seconds. You know, I'm just preparing for reality, man. We're gonna have to retreat across this river line. Oh, of course they're going through the mountain lines now. Yeah, at this point, West Germany's over. 
which I, I accepted. I accepted that. Now it's just time to prepare for the next phase of this, right? These new divisions. Five days, man. Five long days. Oh my god, we messed up. Okay, I'm doing it. These guys are surrendering. And then we'll get some of their equipment and manpower. Disappear. And we at least have some new divisions to work with. And please do not get sunk. That's why I have ships. Uh, we have a lot of divisions here just chilling. Let's send this one Italian guy on a field trip to Venice and see what happens. Now it's time for the Battle of Silo Heights, and we'll be able to defend greatly against the Soviets. Our Air Force is not doing too well. That sucks. Oh my god, everyone just has to run. Just to run. Oh, do we really have time for birthday celebrations, Hitler? A fight for the Reich is going on. But it's okay, only three days until our divisions come. Oh, the Soviets are now pushing us too. Not good stuff, man. Okay, we have a new army, though, coming to back us up, which is good. And we have eight divisions here. Huge. Okay, now it's time to abandon some places. These guys down here can escape to northern Germany. Yeah, the entire south is just inevitably dead. It's not that the south is not holding. The south is actually holding the, holding very decently. It's that the north is starting to fall. So we've got to focus all on everything on Berlin and just start diverting troops north. We just have to ensure these retreats go well. That's all we have to do. Ensure these retreats are very efficient and swift. There's a little bottleneck right here. This cannot end poorly. Oh, 13 divisions. Bottlenecked! I don't like that at all. Not one bit. All right, all effort since we have a few sieves is going into fort construction. We're doing fort protection on all the weak points. This really is disgusting to look at. So much pain could it be had. Oh my god. What? I don't know what they're talking about. Soviet propaganda. Okay, we can't lose anything up here. We are really, really screwed. New units, amazing. Oh no. Hitler's very angry, which is not good. We've lost the general. We lost our best general. That sucks. We are getting kind of screwed in the south with the final retreating divisions. Ah, oh, this is a painful retreat, man. If we can just recover these eight more divisions, I won't feel as bad when these die. All right, send all our planes then to East Berlin. Don't lose this. We're actually cooked if we do. That's why we're sending our entire Air Force here. Aw, oh, please do something, Air Force. No! I misclicked! I misclicked! That might have- Did you see that? Did you see that? At last second, clicked raw stock. No. 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 I'm actually done. Oh my god, you saw that fl Oh. Yeah, well, let's retake it, you're right. I'm not gonna be a punk. Oh, unfortunate waste of troops here. These guys are all cooked. 150,000 men did not make it out of the Prague. Can we still take this man? We're able to surround it. I hope we can take it. I know we're weak, but it'd be very nice if we could take that. <laughs> Our air losses are bad, man, but it's okay. I don't mind running my air force into the ground. Man, it's been nearly an hour. It's, and pff, how many game days have passed? Like a month? Man, this is crazy. Oh, we cannot lose Stettin. That is such an important city. Even worse, we're losing Zilo. Zilo Heights, the name of the mod. We can't lose that. At least our counteroffensive went decently. I think if I play extremely intelligently, I can actually survive. Like, I'm already sending divisions to Stettin before it's about to fall. Oh. Ah! How did that happen? They just got overrun, what? I'm genuinely shocked. Dude, how's this happening? It's so quick. How's this happening? Are we playing them too fast of a game speed? If you go off one speed, are you cooked? I don't understand. I wasn't like I was looking away for two seconds. Dude, we might be- Ah! Now it's all falling though, because we can't hold Stettin anymore. Oh man, they're just slowly pushing us back. Oh, because we lost stupid Stetson, man. We had no fall. Oh. No, 19 divisions have crossed. How? Oh, it's because I'm on two. Oh. No, oh, no, dude. You let up your guard for a second. A second. Guys, I think it's, it's over. We really tried. We were holding this so good. Look, man, this is the thing, too. I know it's winnable if I... That's obviously like kind of cheating. If I went back and I put it on one speed instead of two, and I... Did more cycling of my troops. I prepared forts. Oh, this mod's not impossible. I can tell it's winnable, but I just spent like the past seven hours playing it, so we're done. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will be returning to this mod, and I will win. So stay tuned and watch one of these two videos if you want to support the channel. Have a great rest of your day.